A word of warning for hikers in the mountains this summer. Be on the lookout for rattlesnakes. The poisonous reptiles are being spotted on even the most well-traveled trails. News 13's Frank Crocker joins us live along the Blue Ridge Parkway. Frank, how common is this? Well, they're all around us, but they do everything they can to keep hidden from us. And, you know, we have a great photo right now we're going to show you that proves we all have to keep our eyes open. News 13 Facebook follower Ingrid Whitworth shared this picture worth a thousand words. A timber rattler standing its ground right there in the middle of the popular Art Lobe Trail. She got this great shot, then got out of there safe and sound. That's a very good looking rattlesnake. The WNC Nature Center's Joanne Willoughby knows her reptiles and what a rattlesnake will likely do when it comes into contact with a human. The rattlesnake itself will just stop moving. Camouflage. That's what it's going to use as its first defense. Second defense is it's going to give you that rattle so that you know well, it's a warning. Third, it's going to strike. The only up-close experience most folks have is on the other side of the glass, viewing rattlesnakes at places like the Nature Center. But what if you are unlucky in the great outdoors? There's a high probability that's going to be what's called a dry bite, which they don't even give venom, but they're just using it as a defense mechanism. You won't know whether it's dry until you have the bite checked, so be ready to get medical care quickly. The best friend in, in time of need when you're bitten by a snake is a cell phone, a set of car keys, and a friend. People out on the Art Lobe today were surprised by the photo we showed them. That snake sitting right out on the trail. I'll be watching. I mean, you know, watching my feet. I do not, I don't like snakes, so, ah, <laughs> I don't. I don't think I'm gonna change anything. I'll just kind of be blissfully unaware. <laughs> just pay attention to what's out there, and if it comes across my field, I guess I'll try to avoid it. Just keep your eyes open. Be aware that the snakes are out there. Now, the only other poisonous snake in the mountains is the copperhead. In either case, with either snake, got to watch out where you step. But also, if you're going to rest on a rock, be careful putting your hand down as you sit because a lot of people are bitten on the hand. And once again, be aware, they're there. Reporting live in Asheville, Frank Rocker, News 13.